What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ali Alicia, and I can't believe that I'm making this video. I'm gonna put my head down for a quick second because, oh my God, it's so sad. I am making this video. I am currently 22 years old, and I never had a boyfriend in my life, but I have had a fiance. And that's what makes it so hard to believe that I never had a boyfriend because how do you have a fiance and you never had a boyfriend? But everything that I'm saying to you is completely like the truth and real. So let me tell you how I got a fiance. Back when I was 14, I moved from Connecticut, I mean, <laughs> the Bronx, New York, to Connecticut and that was a hell of a move. Like it was so different for me. It was a different scenery and people, guys. And then I moved to a predominantly white town, which made things so much more harder for me to be desirable. And I mean, you had to be like one of the baddest black girls there. And then sometimes people would even say to me, oh, and these are people that I went to school with family that was like, oh, you are so beautiful for a black girl. I don't want to hear that shit. I promise you I don't want to hear that shit. It is the most disrespectful compliment you can give a black woman because I don't believe that any black woman is ugly. It just really is about your personality. But that's just how I rock. That's just me, right? Not everybody has that mindset or thinks that way. Like some people are just about vision, like most men. And most men will be like, oh, you're ugly. Pick you up. Oh, you're ugly. Oh, you're ugly. And that's not necessarily the case. It's just really about personality to me as a woman. But men see things differently. And then so do some females that are bitches. I don't care what you say. These type of people are bitches. Now... When I first moved to Connecticut, this guy hit me up on Facebook and I was like, who the hell is this fine looking guy with a bandana looking like he's a crip, like big C's for crip crip. And I went out with him cause he asked me on a date at his, at his basketball game. Cause he was a ball player at that time in school. We both was in school at 14 years old. So he never asked me to be his girlfriend, girlfriend. I just had like his Facebook passwords. I would text his friends and all that. And then when he wanted some booty from me, you know what I said to him, you know, it's the ring or it's nothing. So he proposed on site. And ever since then I had left him. I gave the ring back to his brother and that was the end of our relationship. But we still talked and, you know, had sex years down the line. Sad for me. But it's so funny how guys can trick us, women, out of our positions as wives and make us baby mothers. But I'm not going to even get into that. Or even try to um, just um, skip the boyfriend phrase. And this is I'm that type of girl that men will take advantage of easily if I allow them to. And that's not where I'm at. I'm at a healing place in my life where i just want to worry about myself my career my future and be super successful like men aren't necessarily my main thing but it sure would feel good if i had love in my life because i lack feeling love i lack feeling like i'm important to some man other than my father and my brothers so about me i have four siblings i actually have seven siblings but i have four brothers and the rest of them are my sisters. And they all have boyfriends or girlfriends, but unfortunately I am that female, Aaliyah Alicia Scott, who hasn't had a boyfriend just yet out the family. That's why I'm not pregnant at 22 years old, cause I'm only 22. And apparently my younger sisters might even get pregnant because they have boyfriends before I will even get pregnant. So that even sucks cause I'm supposed to be next in the family, but I want to be a wife, not a baby mother, and I refuse to settle for less. I will wait until I get a rich man one day that wants to provide and take care of me and his family that I provide for him. Simple as that. Anyways, back to never having a boyfriend. I feel like I'm the only one that is like left out, and this sucks because I could cry about it, 
but at the same time i was just on youtube and google scouring and seeing that i a lot of men haven't had a girlfriend and i'm like oh well i i kind of see why but then i kind of don't because a lot of these guys on youtube are really cute or they're really attractive based on their personality and for me what is the reason i never had a boyfriend i think i'm straight up ugly i don't know people tell me i'm ugly all the time and i get these comments on the net by internet trolls but i never thought that i was actually ugly i always tell myself you're beautiful my mom tells me i'm beautiful my parents tell me i'm beautiful but i just never thought that i could be ugly i do my makeup really nice i carry myself pretty good when i when i want to behave because you know i'm ghetto and ratchet and i tend to not behave a lot but you know a girl could behave herself i could be good too i ain't fully not shit so <laughs> i just don't see why exactly i don't have a boyfriend but you know what i do sometimes think to myself like what do people say about me some people say i'm pretty some say i'm ugly and unfortunately a lot of the guys that i'm interested in that i've always liked which are light-skinned men since that's what i grew up around that went to school with that i always fell in love with they never liked me so i never was like pursued in a relationship i'm that girl who was never asked to homecoming or prom so i never even went because i didn't have friends like that in school i used to fight bitches didn't like me was bullying me so that's where i was that type of girl in school i was type of girl in school that was really smart but got into fights and just made myself less attractive to men because men would just hear that oh, all you do is fight you must be like a christian rock or something and now guys are still claiming that i'm just like christian rock and that i'm gonna be just like her because i like to fight and i don't want to say that i like to fight but i like to defend myself and always come out on top and prove people wrong after all i am a libra sign so we do go the hardest and we do go kill a mode sometimes 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 if you know what i'm saying anywho let's get into the part about the predominantly white school i noticed that um if you go to a predominantly white school or this could be the other way around for anybody else we tend to be less desirable because of what is already popular or trending or like what i should say is on the agenda out there and i feel like in my situation that's exactly what it was so um i can't figure out exactly why i don't have a boyfriend or when i'll ever have a boyfriend but i did decide to come on here and talk to you guys with my bare face no makeup on which is so vulnerable of me because i normally just don't do that I always had my makeup done, but I think that I'm a beautiful person inside out and I wanted to show YouTube that today. Um, a little bit about me. I never had time to date that much when I did stop fighting because I did work a lot. If you didn't know, I was an ex-attorney. I worked for an attorney, so I was an assistant at his office, okay? So I was a, I worked with the ex I. <laughs> I worked as an ex-attorney. I also was hired at a waitressing bar for like a day, even though I got fired. I also did caregiving. I was a caregiver, which is a nurse. I also was a camp counselor as much as I also was, um, I worked with like a park and recreations. And a lot of my work in life has been with parks and recreations. But every time I wouldn't be around like guys my age, you know what I'm saying? Like I always was around elites that were way older than me. That's who I had worked for. And I never got the chance as a teenager since they were way out of my league and my age group to date anyone. Like I'm just starting to date when I turned 18. I was asked on my first date in New York and that failed because he never asked me out. He just took me to the movies, got me some popcorn, which I didn't even eat. And um, that was the only date that I was ever asked on that I actually took. 
Unfortunately, my dating experiences since I turned 18 has been very dangerous. One guy has pulled out a gun on me when I went to his house and I really liked him and he was black just like me. And it was really sad because for someone who went to a predominantly white school, the only few black guys that was there were the ones that were killers that didn't have my best interest at all whatsoever. Like you tried to literally murder me and I didn't appreciate that shit at all. So my dating experiences have been so dangerous. Like I've even tried dating on Tinder. I have dated on Bumble. I have dated on Hilly. And with my Tinder, I actually contracted an STD from somebody, which I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Look at me, I got my Ralph Lauren. I ain't giving no ho, no po dough though, cause I got on polo, ew. And I'm gonna put in the description box below my um video to getting a disease if you guys are interested in that because it's important that people just for their own sexual health and safety stay safe and know what the hell is going on in this world so stay tuned and check that video out if you're ever interested i think it's really beautiful today it's a nice wonderful day outside Whee! And as I'm on my break, I decided to shoot a video for you guys because I wanted to let you know that if you are ever 22 and never had a boyfriend in your life, that you are not the only one. You know why? Because here I go, your girl, who never had a boyfriend. I never been proposed, like, got on, get on one knee right now. Get on one knee right now and ask me out and no one has ever did that i have never been axed out so i don't know what it's like i wish that i had that high school experience where someone would ask me to homecoming or ask me on a date or even ask me somewhere you know to prom you know but in school i was a bad girl and that's where a lot of these girls that are pregnant today that are out of high school with me that I know about, everybody's pregnant, really. And I'm just here without someone to even conceive with. Like, I don't even have a partner. If I wanted to get pregnant so bad, which I really do, I wouldn't even have a partner to get me pregnant because guess what? I'm single and I'm a whore. <laughs> Basically, if you're single, you're a whore and nobody wants you. And in the African families, which I could never be African, you my friend, they always tell you, where's your man? Where's your boyfriend? Hmm? Where's your man? Where's your boyfriend? And I ain't got one. So you know I couldn't be African if I wanted to or tried. I just got an African-American hairstyle and I happen to be black, AKA Jamaican and black. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's really sad. It's really sad because I sit down and look down on myself for it because when I want someone to talk to on my free time or someone to be with or someone to even enjoy my life with, I notice that I don't have that and that always makes me feel like I will never have that. I used to tell myself back in the day, like, you don't need a boyfriend until you're like 35. And truth be told, everyone has a man that's why everybody is pregnant right now at this time hi i never had a boyfriend oh, 22 oh, oh the stuff yay <laughs> thanks girl yeah i'm telling everybody i never had a boyfriend i always told myself i would get one soon oh my god i might just get one soon for real i just told you guys right I just told you guys I'm going to get one soon. And she tells me I'm going to get one soon. What does that mean? Oh, my God. Yes. I'm going to get one soon. Okay, probably. I don't know. Someone just has to consider me worth it, you know? Somebody just has to consider me worth it. Okay, I'm coming in. I got to go, you guys. Well, I hope you got. Ouch! I stepped on my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have to go. Maybe I'll make a part two one day sometime. If you like this, make sure you give this video a like. 
comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's your girl, Aaliyah Alicia. Bye, guys. Mwah.